times of um, about a master and a greedy man There's, it is said that the master spent the night with somebody and he was walking and as he began to walk on that day a greedy man asked him if he could go with him and the master said yes in the meantime the housewife of the home where he had stayed had made him three stuffed chapatis for lunch. The stuffed chapatis are a very delicious kind of food that is very common in India. So the master took the three stuffed chapatis and they went off and they walked for about an hour and then the master had to do something. So he left everything and the greedy man and when he came back he noticed that one of the three stuffed chapatis was gone. So he said to the greedy man, did you eat that third stuffed chapati? The greedy man said, no, master, no. I didn't eat it, nope. So the master said, all right. And they went along for a while, and they came to a place where the forest was being burned by a great forest fire. So the greedy man got very scared. And he said, what are we going to do? What's going to happen to us? And the master said, well, it is possible that if we remember the God who made us and who loves us, that he will take care of us. So let us try remembering him. So they did that. And they walked through the forest and the fire didn't touch them. When they got through the other side, the master said, well, now, in the name of that God who loved you and made you and saved you from the forest fire, did you eat that third stuffed chapati? And the greedy man said, no, master, no. In the name of that God who made me and loved me and saved me from the fire, I did not eat that third stuffed chapati. So the master said, all right. And they walked along a while more and they came to a place where the river was in flood and there was a tremendous torrent of water and it looked as though they were going to be drowned. So the greedy man again got very frightened and he said, what's, what's going to happen to us now? And the master said, well, it is possible that if we remember that God who made us and loves us and saved us from the fire, that he may save us from the flood also. So the greedy man did that, and they walked through the flood safely and were not touched. When they got through on the other side, the master said, now, in the name of that God who made you and loved you and saved you from the fire and the flood, did you eat that third stuffed chapati? And the greedy man said, no, master, in the name of that God, I did not eat that third stuffed chapati. The master said, all right. And he was determined to make the greedy man tell the truth. He knew very well what had happened. But it was very important for the greedy man's spiritual salvation that he tell the master the truth. So 
he made using his supernatural power. He took some rocks and turned them into precious stones and gold, and he made three piles. And the greedy man got very excited, and the master said, well, this pile is for me, this pile is for you, and this third pile is for whoever ate that third stuffed chapati. And the greedy man said, Master, in the name of that God, I swear I did eat that third stuffed chapati. So he got the jewels and the gold, and he also told the truth to the master. And then the master was able to take him up and take care of him. Satguru Sawan Shah Amart Varsariya Guru Pyaare Asiyaye Ha Tere Ravai Asidu Kiye Akar Nejere Bakisho Satguru Jive Hateri Asid Kiyan Kirkele Bakisho Satguru Jive Hateri Asim Herbari Ujale kunkare tere bina piare asiyae ha tere ravari Satguru sawan sha amartavarasariya Guru Pyaare Asiyaye Ha Tere Ravai Karadasa Jaiba Pukara Sawana Kirpala Kadima Bisara Karada Sajaiba Pukara Sawana Kirpala Kadi 
นาวิสาราเมนุมาดาเทรีเปเจราเกลัยเมรีอาจายนดัสปุคาเรอาศัยอาหะเทเรลวารีสัตว์กุลสาวันชาอเมริตวารุสเรียกุลุพยารีอาศัยอาหะเทเรคิรพาลกีมาหิมายาปรมปารโคตวารจามาบัลีฮารคิรพาลกีมาหิมายาปรมปารโคตวารจามาบัลีฮารฮาร์เรนเดราจโยติจิกาเอฮาร์บัตเกโคราห์ดีขาเอสัตว์สหาราเดปักปักปาร์คัสต์ฮาร์เอสับสุขบาร์สาเอฮาร์เออันเดราจโยติจิกาเอฮาร์บัตเกโคราห์ดีขาเอสัตว์สหาราเดปักปักปาร์คัสต์ฮาร์เอสับสุขบาร์สาเอบินมังเกฮีสับคุชปาเอจูบีอาเอกุรุเกดวาร์คิรพาลกีมาหิมาอัปปรมปาร์โคตวารจามาบัลีฮารคิรพาลกีมาหิมาอัปรมปารโคตวารจามาบัลีฮารสัตว์จันโนกาเฮยเฮกยานฮาริสเปเฮเลกูรุโคจานเยหตันวิชกีเวลบาเวเรสัตกุรเฮอัมรัตกีขานสัตจันโนกาเฮเยเฮกยานฮาริสเปเฮเลกูรุโคจานเยหตันวิชกีเวลบาเวเรสัตกุรเฮอัมรัตกีขานชัตสัตนามนวันดนาสัตสัตกุรุเฮจีวันเกียาดารคิรพาลกีมาหิมาอัปรมปารโคตวารจามาบัลีฮารกิรพาลกีมาหิมาอัปรมปารโคตวารจามาบัลีฮารอันตรมันกีย่าเขี่ยขโอลจุกคาร์จัลเลอร์รมีท้าบอลกัดบันดเลตาร์จ่าเอกา गुरु का बचन बड़ा अनमोल अंतर मन की आँखें खोल झुक कर चले और मीठा बोल गाँठ बांध ले तर जाएगा गुरु का बचन बड़ा अनमोल जिन पर दया करी गुरुवर ने वही उतर गए भव से पार कृपाल की महिमा अपरंपार 
कोटवार जावा बलिहार कृपाल की महिमा अपरम पार कोटवार जावा बलिहार गुरु का नाम है कल युग में भव सागर की नाव नाम बिना और तैरने का और कोई नहीं पाओ गुरु का नाम है कल युग में भव सागर की नाव नाम बिना और तैरने का और नहीं कोई उपाव अजाय अब जप कृपाल को उतर जाएगा पार कृपाल की महिमा अपरम पार कोटवार जामा बलिहार कृपाल की महिमा अपरम पार कोटवार जामा बलिहार दुख बन जाने तेरा नाम जी दुख बन जाने तेरा नाम दुख बन जाने तेरा नाम जी दुख बन जाने तेरा नाम आते पेरे नारा दिए पुरान सत गुरु जम आते पेरे आरा दिए पुरान सत गुरु जम पुरान सत गुरु जन जी दुख बन जन तेरा नाम जी दुख बन जन तेरा नाम दुख बन जन तेरा नाम जी दुख बन जन तेरा नाम जीते गाते वस पार ब्रह्म सोई सुहा जाता जीते गाते वस पार ब्रह्म सोई सुहा जाता सोई सुहा जाओ जी दुख बन जन तेरा नाम जी दुख बन जन तेरा नाम दुख बन जन तेरा नाम जी दुख बन जन तेरा नाम जमकं कर नेरे नंगावे रसे नंग हारे गुनगा जमकं कर नेरे नंगावे रसे नंग हारे गुनगा रसे नंग हारे गुनगा जी दुख बन जन तेरा नाम जी दुख बन जन तेरा नाम दुख बन जन तेरा नाम जी दुख बन जन तेरा नाम सेवा सूरत न जनिया ना जप आरा सेवा सूरत ना जहानिया ना जप आरा ना जप आरा दे जी दुख बन जन तेरा नाम जी दुख बन जन तेरा नाम
तेरी मगर रो अक बेनूर तेरी राह बिखड़ा मंजल दूर तेरी मगर रो अक बेनूर तेरी जदों चल दे डिग पैने आसा सतगुर दिया रखिया ने ओ अकल के प्रेमी सी निर्मल परवाने सर देने दास ने दास ओ प्रेमी सी निर्मल परवाने सर देने कीरीस कर परवाने दी ते मार दिया सखिया ने ओ अकल के अंधे देख जरा तेन सत गुरु दिया ने ओ अकल के अंधे देख जरा तेन सत गुरु
the story of the washerman's daughter, which Sanchi has told many times. Master Kripal also used to tell it, and Master Sawan Singh too. It, there was a king named Pipa who lived in a city and he was seeking after God and he asked people where he could find a master who would show him how to find God and they told him well the only master who is available to you right now who lives in this place is a cobbler named Ravidas and King Pipa was very reluctant to go to Ravidas because Ravidas was a cobbler which was considered by Hindus in India to be an unclean thing because they worked with the skins of animals to make shoes. And the king was a king and he was very high caste considered to be a very important person and a cobbler was considered to be very unimportant. So he thought, how will it look if I am a king and I go to a cobbler and take him as my master? This is ridiculous. Nonetheless, he wanted to go see him. So one day when everybody in the city was at a fair that was held outside, he went to see Ravidas. And Ravidas was in his hut mending shoes. And when the king came in, Ravidas greeted him and he gave him a drink. And the drink appeared to the king to be the liquid that Ravidas was putting in his mouth and using um, to make the shoes with. And he was scared to drink it. And so when Ravi, when Ravidas gave him the liquid, instead of drinking it, he pretended to drink it, and in actuality, he poured it into the sleeve of his shirt, which was a very big sleeve, and it absorbed the liquid very easily. So when uh, he went home, he thanked Ravidas and bowed to him politely and went away. And when he got home, he took the shirt off and he gave it to his washerman to clean. And the washerman gave it to his daughter, who was 12 years old. Now, in those days, and still in India in some, some situations, people used to clean stains out of shirts and things by sucking them. And so usually they spit it out. But the washerman's daughter, who was 12, was not very experienced, and she didn't realize that you're supposed to spit it out. So she sucked that stuff out of the shirt that uh, the king had put there, and she swallowed it. And when she swallowed it, she immediately left the body and went into the inner planes. Because what Ravidas had given the king was a very special kind of thing. It was not really a drink at all. It was the nectar from such kind in liquid form. And he was giving it to him to give him a very great gift of grace because he was pleased that the king had swallowed his pride and come to see him in his hut. This was a very great thing for the king to do. So when the washerman's daughter went into the inner plains, uh, it became obvious to the people around her that she had changed a lot, and they began coming to her and uh, understanding her as a master, even though she was very young. So when the king heard that another saint had come up in his own palace, he went to see her also. And when he came into the room where she was, she got up and greeted him and he said, no, no, I have not come as a king. I have come as a disciple. I am interested in knowing what your secret is. And the washerman's daughter said, I didn't stand up to greet you as a king, but as a benefactor because whatever my secret is, it was in your shirt. And when she said that, the king instantly understood what had happened. He realized that Ravidas had given that to him, but that because he had refused it, it had gone to the washerman's daughter. So he thanked her and he went back to Ravidas and apologized very humbly. And he said, can I have a second chance? Can I have it again? And Ravidas said, no, you can't have that again because that was once one time thing. And the washerman's 
daughter got it. But I will initiate you. I will give you Nam. And if you work hard, you can uh, have it that way. And the king did. He took the initiation. He worked hard. He became known far and wide as a great spiritual king. And he eventually became a master and uh, told this story about himself. जाना 
सिर पर है पापों का भार गहरी नदिया नाव पुरानी और उसमें भी छेद हजार बीत गए जुग सोते सोते अरे आलसी निंदरा त्याग ओ मन मूर्ख अब तो जाग ओ मन मूर्ख अब तो जाग मात पिता पत्नी सुत दारा समझ रहा जिनको अत प्यारा प्राणों का पंछी उड़ते ही कर जाएंगे सभी किनारा मात पिता पत्नी सुत दारा समझ रहा जिनको अत प्यारा प्राणों का पंछी उड़ते ही कर जाएंगे सभी किनारा सब की अपनी अपनी डफली सब का अपना अपना राग ओ मन मूरख अब तो जाग ओ मन मूरख अब तो जाग सकल सत्य का सार नाम है जीवन का आधार नाम है प्रेम नाम है प्यार नाम है कहते बेड़ा पार नाम है सकल सत्य का सार नाम है जीवन का आधार नाम है प्रेम नाम है प्यार नाम है कहते बेड़ा पार नाम है प्रभु को पावन कृपाल नाम है करे प्रतिपाल और अनुराग ओ मन मूरख अब तो जाग ओ मन मूरख अब तो जाग सौ काम छोड़ सत्संग में जाना हजार काम छोड़ बंदे ध्यान लगाना जितनी जरूरत तन को खाने की आत्मा मिबांगे सिमरन खाना सौ काम छोड़ सत संग में जाना हजार काम छोड़ बंदे ध्यान लगाना जितनी जरूरत तन को खाने की आत्मा भी मांगे सिमरन खाना वाक जैब याद 
रख कृपाल का खाली ठोकरे अब तो जाग ओ मन मूरख अब तो जाग ओ मन मूरख अब तो जाग
जिस के सिर पर तू स्वामी सो दुख के पावे सो दुख के पावे बोल न जाने माया मद माता बोल न जाने माया मद माता मरण चित नया मरण चित नया जिसके सिर पर तू स्वामी जिस के सिर पर तू स्वामी सो दुख के पावे सो दुख के पावे मेरे राम राय तू संता का संत तेरे मेरे राम राय तू संता का संत तेरे तेरे सेवक को पो किच नाही तेरे सेवक को पो किच नाही जम नहीं आवे ने जम नहीं आवे ने जिस के सिर पर तू स्वामी जिस के सिर पर तू स्वामी सो दुख के पावे सो दुख के पावे जो तेरे रंग राते स्वामी जो तेरे रंग राते स्वामी तीन का जन्म मरण दुख ना जन्म मरण दुख ना तेरी बक्ष न मेटे कोई तेरी बक्ष न मेटे कोई सतगुरु का दिला सतगुरु का दिला जिसके सिर पर तू स्वामी जिसके सिर पर तू स्वामी सो दुख के पावे सो दुख के नाम ते आयन सुख फल पायन नाम ते आयन सुख फल पायन आठ पहर दे आठ पहर दे तेरी शरण तेरे परवासे तेरी शरण तेरे परवासे पंच दुष्ट लाधे पंच दुष्ट लाधे जिसके सिर पर तू स्वामी जिसके सिर पर तू स्वामी 
सो दुख कैसा पावे सो दुख कैसा पावे ज्ञान ते अन किच कर्म न जाना ज्ञान ते अन किच कर्म न जाना सार न जाना तेरी सार न जाना तेरी सब ते वडा सत गुरु नानक सब ते वडा सत गुरु नानक जिन कल राखी मेरी जिन कल राखी मेरी जिसके सिर ऊपर तू स्वामी जिसके सिर ऊपर तू स्वामी सो दुख कैसा पावे सो दुख कैसा पावे जे अपना बना लो कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते सब कहते सब कहते कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते मुझे अपना बना लो कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते सब कहते सब कहते कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते ना देखो मेरे अवगुण सतगुरु अवगुण मुझ में बहुत भरे काटो मेरे संकट सतगुरु संकट मैंने बहुत सहे ना देखो मेरे अवगुण सतगुरु अवगुण मुझ में बहुत भरे काटो मेरे संकट सतगुरु संकट मैंने बहुत सहे सतगुरु करो ख्याल दयाल तुझे सब कहते सब कहते सब कहते कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते मुझे अपना बना लो कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते सब कहते सब कहते कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते मन पापी का जोर बड़ा है पाप कराए सदगुण हरे काम क्रोध मद लोभ मोह में लिपटा दिन और रात रहे मन पापी का जोर बड़ा है पाप कराए सदगुण हरे काम क्रोध मद लोभ मोह में लिपटा दिन और रात रहे दया करो रखवाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते सब कहते सब कहते कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते 
मुझे अपना बना लो कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते सब कहते सब कहते कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते बड़े बड़े ऋषि मुनि हुए जो वे भी मन की धार बहे मुझक छोटे जीव की सतगुर तुम बिन बहिया कौन गहे बड़े बड़े ऋषि मुनि हुए जो वे भी मन की धार बहे मुझक छोटे जीव की सतगुर तुम बिन बहिया कौन गहे मेरे सतगुरु दीन दयाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते सब कहते सब कहते कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते मुझे अपना बना लो कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते सब कहते सब कहते कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते अपने सेवक की आपे राखे नीचो ही फिर ऊंच करे आ जाय अब तेरी शरण में सतगुरु शरणागत की पैज रहे अपने सेवक की आपे राखे नीचो ही फिर ऊंच करे आ जाय अब तेरी शरण में सतगुरु शरणागत की पैज रहे सावन के कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते सब कहते सब कहते कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते मुझे अपना बना लो कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते सब कहते सब कहते कृपाल दयाल तुझे सब कहते
story well oh. um, unfortunately Russell told my favorite story <laughs> two days ago but I think I will tell it again about the traveler who met up with a great saint and the great saint um, invited him to walk with him and before he had left he had had uh, somebody uh, make up three chapatis for him and he put them in his bag and they traveled on their way and as they were walking everything was going fine and they had to stop to rest and while the master of the saint went off the man that was traveling with him went into his bag and took the chapati later on in their journey they were stopping again to rest and have food and the, and the great saint noticed that the chapati was not there so he asked the man did you take this chapati and the man said no I did not now, of course, the saint knows everything, so he knew that this man had taken the chapati, and he also knew that to save his soul, he must learn to tell the truth. So they traveled on, and they came to a very big river, and the river was very rapid, and the water was flowing greatly, and they got into it in the middle and couldn't get further. And the man said, Please save me, please, what should we do? We are going to die in this water. And the saint said, just remember God. If you remember God, you will be taken care of. And so the man did, and they made it through the water. They, their journey went further, and they traveled on. And they came into a forest, and there was a big fire. And the man was sure they would be burned in the fire. And he said to the saint, please, please save me. I don't want to die. And the saint said, remember God. If you remember God, then you will be saved. And so the man and the saint got through the fire. Now again, after these, each of these events, the saint asked the man, did you take the chapati from my bag? And of course, he thought that um, when the man realized how God saved him, he would tell the truth. 
but none of these none of these things worked. So the saint was determined to save this soul. So he had did everything he could, and then in the end, he said, um, "I must do something to make this man tell the truth." And so he got three bags of gold, and there was the saint and the man, and of course a third bag of gold. So he set them out, and he gave them each one. And the third one, he said, "This bag of gold will go to whoever took the chapati from my bag." Now this man, of course, saw that third bag of gold and thought, "I guess it's time that I tell the truth because I really do want that gold." So he said, "Please, please, it is I that took the chapati from the bag. I should get this gold." Now we know that the saints are loving and love us all very much, and so he gave this man the gold, and in that way. He taught him to tell the truth, and that was his goal: is to make sure that the man would tell the truth. Because we all know that on the path of the masters, truthfulness is very, very important. And that's the story.
Master just said today is Sawan Singh's birthday, so I want to tell a little, a few stories about Great Master Sawan Singh, um, who was lived a very long time and who is really responsible for the work here and everything that has been happening the past week, as well as everything else, because it was he whose beloved disciple Kripal Singh came here in the first place. 30 odd years ago and also through him the power continued to go into Sanchi and to sit in front of us now. When Baba Sawan Singh was a young man before he was initiated he was still a very wise and spiritual person and it is said that he was living in the Marie Hills, which is a part of India in the Himalaya Mountains, a very beautiful part of India. They can get cold in winter and snows there. And uh, there was an atheist, a person who didn't believe in God, who came to that place because he suffered from tuberculosis, which is a disease of the lung, which is very painful, and eventually you die from it. And the climate, the weather was considered good for that. So he, the doctor sent him there, and he was trying to find a room. But the word had gone out that he was an atheist, so nobody wanted to rent to him. They were also afraid of his disease because it was contagious. And so he was turned away from every house. And he also came to Sawan Singh's house, but Sawan Singh wasn't home. So the housekeeper that he had been assigned, because he was in the army at the time, the housekeeper that he had been assigned had been assigned to him in the in the building, turned the man away. And but just as he was leaving, Master Sawan Singh came around the corner and saw that that man was going, and he asked the uh, housekeeper what was going on. And the housekeeper said, "Well, he wanted a room, but I wouldn't rent him one." Master Sawan Singh said, "Why not?" He said, "Because he was an atheist, and also because I don't." like to have someone with tuberculosis around. And Master Sawan Singh said, just because he doesn't know that God resides within him, we know it, don't we? Please give him a room. And the man did, and he stayed there in that house. Just a little while after that, uh, Master Sawan Singh met his master, who was Baba Jamal Singh, who came to the Murray Hills to do satsang, have a retreat, just like the master has come here for the last few days. And he walked, he was walking with a disciple of his named Bibi Ruko, and they walked down the street where Sawan Singh was coming the other way. Sawan Singh didn't notice Baba Jamal Singh at all. He just, he saw him, but he thought he's just an old man coming here. He paid no attention to him. And as they passed, Baba Jamal Singh said to Bibi Ruko, we have come here for this man. This is the one we have come for. And she said to him, Hi, but he didn't even notice you. He hasn't even paid any attention to you. And Baba J. 
Jamal Singh said, that's all right. On the fourth day from now, he will come. And that's the way it happened. He did come in four days. He heard about Bamba Jamal Singh giving satsang, and he was very curious, and he finally went to it, and then uh, became very much excited. He asked him many, many questions, and Baba Jamal Singh told him to read the book, The Ocean of Love, which he did do, and then got initiated. And as Baba Sawan Singh's mission became very large, he, many people opposed him. People in India who did not like to have a living master around, who liked the idea of only the ones who are already come and gone. People in the Sikh religion uh, would set up meetings and tents next to his and broadcast propaganda against him and tell people not to go see him because he was bad. And then uh, because they were out in the desert place, no provisions had been made. And um, they needed to eat. So Baba Sawan Singh insisted that they would be fed also. And he said, all right, you do propaganda against me and then you come here and eat. And so they, they did. And one final story, Master Kripal Singh used to tell that when he was a young disciple of Baba Sawan Singh, one time these same Akalis came to him and demanded to be fed at uh, a very weird time when there was no food in the kitchen, nothing being prepared. But they said they were hungry and they wanted to eat. And Master Kripal Singh didn't know what to do. He went to the kitchen and got people to try to uh, get the stoves going and so forth. There was one basket with a few chapatis in it. And as he was make, giving orders to light the stoves, Baba Sawan Singh came in and said, Kripal Singh, what are you doing? Why don't you feed these people? And Master Kripal Singh said, but there isn't any food. And Baba Sawan Singh said, Kripal Singh, take up that basket and feed them. There are chapatis in there, give them to them. There were about 500 people and there were about three chapatis in the basket, but he covered the basket and kept giving them chapatis out of it and everyone was fed. It was like a miracle. Mu 
Nangge pe 